In this video, I'll show you how to print using a Mac computer with a Canon Selfie CP1500. This will work with MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, iMac, Mac Mini, you name them. Okay, so the first step, go on the Selfie printer and you need to select Wi-Fi settings, which is this icon over here using that touchpad. Once you're on it, click OK. And then you need to go down until you see Wi-Fi. You need to make sure that it's enabled. Press OK and select Enable. Then you need to go up in this menu on the first option, which is Connection Settings. Press OK. Then you need to go down and then select Other. This option, press OK. And then you need to select via wireless router, which is the first option. Press OK. It will take a few seconds. And then in this menu, what you need to do is to select find wireless routers. Now it will start searching for any routers, any Wi-Fi around you. And you need to select the one that your Mac computer is connected to. So mine is uh, lower in this list. Press OK once you're on it. And here we'll have to type the password. Press the menu button and here you'll be able to type it. Once you're done typing, select finish and press OK. Then you need to click OK again, just confirming that it's the right password. And the printer will start connecting to the Wi-Fi router. This can take up to a minute or even two, depending how far it is and how strong is the signal. Once it's connected, you'll get this confirmation message and now press OK. And it will ask you to join this network with your computer as well. So just press OK. And you're done with the printer for the moment. Now go on your Mac and go on the top left corner and select System Preferences. Then on this display, you need to select Printers and Scanners. And then on this page, we need to add the new printer. So what we'll do is to click on the plus symbol over there. Then we'll have a list of all printers on the Wi-Fi network. And as you can see here in the middle, there's the Canon Selfie CP1500. Click on it. Then wait a few seconds. And then click the add button. If you get this message, unable to communicate with the printer, just press continue. And then it will try again. And most of the time, after the second time or, or the third time, it finally works. In my case, it took two times to get it connected. Now it's time to select the picture that we'll like to print. I have mine on the desktop. You can go whatever it is on your computer and open it up, hold the command button and press P. This will open the window here so we're able to print. And now it's very important that you select uh, under the printer Canon Selfie CP1500. Under presets, leave it to default settings. Copies, I'll just leave it to one. I don't want multiple pictures. And under paper size, it's very important that you select which kind of paper you're going to load into the Canon selfie printer. I went on the Canon website and it's clearly that there's only three sizes that it accepts. There's the L size, the P size. This is the one that came with the printer, the four by six papers and the C size. Once you determined which paper you can go on paper size, and for each of them, you can choose to have border or to print borderless. So the image will fill the whole paper. So here I want uh, on my postcard size, which is by a four by six borderless. I'll click on it and you can see in the preview over here, it has no borders. 
my original picture wasn't 4x6, so this is why the dog looks cropped. If I choose scale to fit over here, I will have white borders on each side since it's not the same aspect ratio. What I suggest you to do is to select scale and input some numbers, play with different numbers and just select what's best for you. So here in my case 80% scale looked great, 70 doesn't because it has white borders, I think I'll keep 80%. Before pressing the print button we need to put the paper tray and uh, some paper in the printer. Finally you can press the print button. It can take a minute or even two minutes sometimes to send the picture from your Mac to the printer itself, depending on how fast your network is, but also I think in general is quite a slow process. Here you can see on the printer it says busy and I'll just accelerate this portion of the video since uh, nothing is happening. Perfect, we have our picture over here. I think it did a great job. But now we need to remove those um, removable borders, like this, we just need to bend the paper and they just go out by themselves. And here we have it. I hope this video was useful, if so please check the affiliate Amazon links in the description to get some paper and ink for your Canon printer, if not just leave a comment, a like, and I will see you in the next one.